This is an illustrated summary of the news. It will be followed by a film on the latest events and happenings around the world. The Soviet Union began the war in a very difficult position. Pressed from the west by the combined European forces, and from the east by the worries of the Shogun Empire, the Soviet Union was fighting a losing battle. The tragedy of the Soviet people culminated in the loss of Moscow to the European armies. In these desperate times, Comrade Karl Marx ordered a surprise offensive on Australia in an attempt to use it as a place to regroup and begin his reconquest of Soviet native lands. The Soviet armies managed to conquer back their native territories and are currently fighting a battle to keep what was theirs. The European alliance launched massive offensives at the start of the war. European mechanized units were fighting from the Soviet plains to the African deserts, winning victory after victory. This created many enemies for the European Alliance, as they were fighting the African warlords in the Sahara as well as battling an offensive on Iceland and Ireland from the United Republic. Presently, the European conquests have been lost, and the Alliance is battling to keep foreign armies out of their lands. The Shogun Empire has enjoyed shifting fortunes in the war. After conquering Siberia from the Soviet Union and clashing with the warlords in India, the Empire lost Australia to the surprise offensive by the Soviet Union. Following this defeat, the Empire lost nearly all of their lands to the resurging Soviets that were assaulting Asia from their territories in Australia. Once the Soviets marched on to their native territories, the armies of the Emperor recaptured their lands and almost all of Asia and Africa in an impressive offensive, which currently makes them the largest and most powerful faction in the world. Across the Atlantic, the United Republic was sheltered from the terrible fighting that was occurring in Europe and Asia. They focused all their armies on their immediate enemy, the Latin Junta. Pressing deep into Latin America, the Federal armies captured many territories and cities from the Junta, but this was not the end of the fighting. The Latin Junta retreated to its territories in Africa and led a counter-offensive while Federal armies were focused on the European front. The Latin armies recaptured all their lost territories and even went on several offensives, pushing deep into Republican territory. The African warlords were fighting a desperate battle at the start of the war. Assailed from both the Europeans from the north and the junta from across the Atlantic, the warlords had been fighting a battle for survival from the very start, but were proving exceptionally resilient. Fighting off all invaders, and even proceeding with offensives in India and Italy, the warlords have shown that they are more than capable of fighting on many fronts and toppling giants. The world burns with the fires of war, and there can only be one victor. Who will prevail?